what, what, what one reason have I given you? It was the way you were walking up and down and your behaviour when you were in the police so you're, and crossing the road. Because I looked at them last time details. and they forcefully searched me in front yeah. of my... Alright then, so as you've just seen, what this copper has just said, the reason they're going to search him is because of him walking up and down, crossing the road in his behaviour with the police. Now, his justification is him walking up and down the road and crossing the road. So, we'll see what his behaviour was like with the police and you tell me if it's reasonable grounds to suspect that this person has got something on him and it's enough grounds for the police to stop and take his civil liberties away from him for a brief period of time to search him in the street. So let's actually look at this interaction and find out if, he, if they did have the grounds or not. How you doing? You alright? Yeah, all good, dude. Yeah, not bad, mate. We just wanted to check everything's alright, because we um, passed you a little while ago, and you sort of like up and down here a little bit. I'm just having a fair go outside my house. Oh, where, oh, where do you live? Yeah. Where? Less than 10 metres away. Oh, less than 10 metres away? Less than 10 metres away? Yeah. Oh, because well, like, you were like up and down here, and we just start doing sort of proactive patrols in the area, just checking everyone's uh, alright, not up yeah. to no good or anything like that. No, 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 uh, law abiding citizen. Glad to hear it. Do you have any idea on you at all? Uh, I don't know. You don't? Okay. Are you don't know if the police have been in trouble for anything? No. Uh, when I was about 13. You're older and wiser now. Well, I'm 27, so I'm probably 27. near enough as old. Well, I'm older than you, I can yeah, tell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost 30, so. What's your right, first 30. name, my friend? <laughs> hmm? What's your first name, mate? Why do I have to give you that? Just ask them to... I just wish they missed answer, really. Sorry? I just don't really wish to answer. Okay. Any particular reason? And this is the reason why you don't speak to the police ever. Because they're just on a fishing expedition. They've pulled him for no reason. They've asked him if he's got a minute. And he's given some of his time. Now, you don't, you're under no obligation to speak to the police ever. You don't have to have a conversation with them. Because everything you, you say to them, they're going to use against you. So it's best to just say, I don't want a conversation with you, and then say nothing after that. Because look at this incident now. It, they've said, what's he doing? He's told them. And now it's a, fish, a fishing expedition for his name, if he's wanted, uh, if he's known to the police, all this other stuff. And then they're going to use that as grounds to search him, as you've seen a minute ago, the way he acted with the police. So... Don't have a conversation with the police. Just tell them you don't want to have a conversation with them and you want to get on with your your time because the most precious thing in life is time. That's one thing you cannot get back is your time. Well, do I have to? Well, you're not committing any offences. Um, exactly, you understand that's what I'm asking. Stop checking people, check they're not wanted or anything like that. Well, I'm not wanted. Trust me, I'm a law-abiding citizen. Right. I've not been in trouble for years. Okay, so what have you been doing up and down here? Because you've been on your phone a bit as well. Because I've just been on my phone. Is, is, uh, am I breaking the law? Is there anything on that you that there shouldn't be? Any drugs or anything like that? Well, no. Obviously not, is it? No, obviously not. We get a lot of... Um, <laughs> I'm just standing outside my own house having a fag. I was just finishing off my beer. My mum's been phoning me and that's who's been on the phone. Right. Okay. And now I'm going to go in. So definitely nothing on you shouldn't be? Well, no. No? Okay. Based on your behaviour and what, what I've seen, I'm going to search you under Section Behavior. 3 of the Misuse Drugs Act. So Can I get a supervisor, please? Supervisor? I'm yeah. a supervisor. I'm sergeant. Sergeant. Oh, yeah. well, I need uh, someone to hire up because yeah. well, I've we'll done do nothing a, we'll wrong. We'll do a copy of the search record. And it's I don't care about the copy. Okay. Have I committed um, a crime? So I wanna, we're going to search you under Section 3 of the Misuse. Be, be honest with you. Look, if you've got anything on you... I've just, got just, nothing on me. Okay. Well, we'll do the search. You're detained for the purpose of the search. I'm yeah, sergeant Reynolds at the Operation Support Group. I just want to know what crime I've committed. Okay then, so you heard him say he's going to do a stop check and then he mentions section 23 of the Misuse of Drugs Act, which is obviously Misuse of Drugs Act of 1971. We'll get to that in a second. He said doing a stop check. Again, it's a stop and account. You're under no obligation to stop and even talk to the police whatsoever. This is why you don't, because they will use everything against you. Now his grounds 
as you heard, was he was acting suspiciously on his phone and walking about. Now, that is not suspicious at all. That's what I think millions of people do in the UK. But what does Section 23 actually say? So I'll just highlight this. Uh, yeah, I like all of this here. Yeah. One, a constable or other person authorized in that behalf by a general or special order of the Secretary of State, or in Northern Ireland either of the Secretary of State or the Ministry of Home Affairs for Northern Ireland, shall, for the purposes of the execution of this act, have power to enter the premises of a person carrying on business as a producer or supplier of any controlled drugs, and to demand the production of, and to inspect, any books or documents relating to dealings in any such drugs, and to inspect any stocks of any such drugs. 2. If a constable has reasonable grounds to suspect that any person is in possession of a controlled drug in contravention of this act or of any regulations, F1 or orders, made thereunder, the constable may a. Search that person, and detain him for the purpose of searching him. b. Search any vehicle or vessel in which the constable suspects that the drug may be found, and for that purpose require the person in control of the vehicle or vessel to stop it. C. Seize and detain, for the purposes of proceedings under this act, anything found in the course of the search which appears to the constable to be evidence of an offence under this act. In this subsection, so that's just on about vessels is a hovercraft as well, blah de, blah de, blah. So a constable has reasonable grounds to suspect that a person is in possession of a controlled drug. Now, do you honestly believe he had reasonable grounds to suspect that he had drugs on him just because he is walking up and down the road? Now, if you do, he can use this section right there to search a person. Now, if you honestly think that that's reasonable grounds, then I think every single person walking up and down a road should be searched under this ear because his what is said for the reason is he's walking up and down the road and is on his phone. Now, I think everybody is stuck in the phones. I think 99% of people stick their head in the phone and then spend 99% of their life glued to the phone. And a lot of people walk walk up and down. I know people on where I live what walk the dogs in the same bloody circle. I know people walk the same road every single day up and down that road because they're just simply exercising. He was simply having a sick. It's that simple. Maybe he's not allowed to smoke inside, so he goes outside. And, yeah, it's just, I honestly don't believe he had reasonable grounds for this search. But let's continue. You haven't committed a crime? I have to commit a crime for you to, or be on very suspicion, like yeah, walking it's, down it's, a road with a crowbar and a balaclava. No, it's That's not more, like that. no, no, no. I've looked up the laws, yeah. I know exactly what I can and can't do. Yeah. Standing outside my own house, yeah. having a fag, drinking no, my beer. No, it's based on my observations uh, and your behaviour while we've been stopping and speaking to you. I suspect you may have some controlled substance on you. I okay? ain't got no, what, All so right. you're accusing me of fine. being a criminal? That's fine, we'll, we'll do the search and if well, nothing's found you'll be on your way. I, I'm, not going to submit because I okay. don't have to. Well, no, we're, we're going to do the search. We can I use reasonable force that we have to. Obviously, we don't want to but do that. But if you do, because you're uh, you're going to be attacking me. I'm just a member of the public oh, no, outside not, my own I'm house. Not attacking you. I, it's only just gone ten o'clock for Christ's sake. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not attacking you. Um, it's not going to be invasive or anything like that. But we're going to search you and search your pockets. Check you this happened to me you. literally two two weeks ago now yeah they refuse to identify themselves which yeah. you ain't done now well sergeant reynolds of essex police and it's on body one camera so i have yeah i know i know i know you got your camera well you ain't got your camera on because it ain't flashing yeah, yeah. Look, it's, nah, it's, it's flashing, yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's recording they said it's not going to be invasive the just, a search in itself is invasive hence the reason for the search you are invading his privacy to look through his property it is invasive so him saying it's not invasive is absolute nonsense. And camera shy, just don't speak at all. Let them do what they're doing. And then you take it to a solicitor and see what a solicitor's got to say about it. Because obviously you're talking over what he's saying, so you ain't actually finishing the reason for the search. So is saying the way you was acting and the way you was with them. But that's all we know. They're going to do the search regardless if you permit them or not. And yeah, it's just one of them. So just sometimes just let it happen, but say nothing. 
in the camera. Yeah, because I saw some officers up there the other day and theirs was flashing. Yeah, um, so it is recording. All right, well, um, we're yeah, do, we're you can search me. Fantastic. Uh, well, well, no, you can't actually. Well, no, we're going to search you and we can use <laughs> You're not going to say it. We that weren't what I was going to say. Sorry? That weren't what I was going to say. Oh, okay. I'm saying I'm not going to let you search me because I've done nothing wrong. I've walked outside my house, no less than 10 metres away. Yeah. My phone's going to ring in a minute because my mum's saying my dinner's ready. Yeah. And you've just come and harassed me. I'm feeling really alarmed and distressed right now. Yeah, okay. I really right. don't know um, what well, I've done wrong. We're going to do the search, okay? What have I done wrong? One reason. One, what, 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 one reason have I given that? It was the way you were walking up and down and your behaviour when you were the police so you're, and crossing the road. Because I looked at them last the time details. and they forcefully searched me in front yeah. of my mum. They well, give my mum stress. Wanna, She's wanna, so scared. Well, let's not stress your mum out. I don't want to well, forcefully search you. <laughs> She's going to get stressed out because she probably looking out the window right now. Yeah. And well, she, we, well, she probably, well, I told her not to come down next time if this happens again. Yeah, right, well, okay. we could have been done by now. You're going to arrest me, but you've been taking me to the station, say, for what? Well, because we're not going to arrest you for anything. We, we, we haven't jumped done Well, this, this is what the last whole, officer, well, the not, last no, officer no, said for this, obstruction. This whole process but I need to be done cause now. a crime. Yeah. I have done nothing wrong. I'm standing outside my house. This is what I, look, this is just, uh, <laughs> this is it. I'm standing outside my house, yeah. having a fag, finishing off my... It's okay. We're going to start the search, okay? Well, you so you're, force, force you're reasonably forcing mm -hmm. me. Yeah, so just can, I get, a, can just I get another supervisor? No, you can't get another supervisor. Oh, really? okay? I don't want to have to put you in handcuffs, so, but you need to comply with the search and we'll get your leeway. Comply with okay? the search? All right, my clothes it, it, and it's, and it's quick and easy and that's the end of it. Yeah. Can I just ask for your names and numbers? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll give, give you that in a moment. Can't you just give me that now? Because you've got to identify yourself I've told you three times now. You work for me, I don't work for you. Sorry? You work for me, I don't work for you. I'm a taxpayer. Yeah. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm just your business. I don't have to tell you. Why are you going through my pockets? Okay then, so the field straight away, the sergeant officer, which is not this sergeant, has not said the reason for the search, which is supposed to. He's not said what section he's using, which he is supposed to. And he has not identified himself or told him what he's expecting to find on this search. So... The searching officer has failed. The sergeant has said what section they're using and the reason for the search. They haven't identified themselves as you heard. The searching officer has not identified itself. The sergeant did, but the, they are supposed to, the searching officer is supposed to tell you the reason for the search, what section they're using for the search, they're supposed to identify themselves, what they expect to find on the search, and that you're entitled to a, a stop search. There's something else as well, but I can't remember. And the searching officer has not done that. He is already going through his pockets. So right at this point, the search is is unlawful. Straight away, because they haven't, they haven't done the job properly. Failure of their duty, straight away. They haven't done their job properly, which means Camera Shy has probably got a case for civil litigation to sue him. I don't want you going through my pockets. Go towards the car and we'll put anything on the, on the car, yeah. alright? Well, I just don't want you going through my no, pockets. I appreciate that, alright? So just put it on the car because I don't want to spill it. Well, you're not Thank taking you. my phone because I want that as evidence. Yeah, that's fine. For what you're doing right now, yeah, because no this it's is really been, unconstitutional. It's been, I'm just standing outside my house. Yeah, no, it's... it's, are you, it's why are you treating me like here. a criminal? You're treating me like a criminal. We're doing, a stop, we're doing a stop search. Uh, yeah, but you have to have a suspicious, you have to have a reason. Yeah, and I've well, explained you, that to you. What, that I'm standing outside my house? No, that you've been walking up and down, paying us <laughs> attention we've gone past. That was about 20 minutes ago. Um, as you've seen, as you've put you your, went hands, up on, there, you've put you your hands in your pockets and then you've walked across. I road. didn't put my hands in my pockets. You did. I no, I didn't. I had, hands had hands my phone in my hand and I had my beer in my hand. So how did I put my hand in my pockets? Well, with your phone, I suspect. Okay. <laughs> So that means I suspect you Well, no, I don't, I don't agree with this still. Okay, I, I appreciate you don't, and I appreciate... Can I have a written statement right now? Because last time, well, the I officers can't. failed to identify themselves. Right. And they didn't do nothing. Like, they just, yeah, yeah. they just said come down well, to the college, Kingston yeah, I've not, College. I've not, we're not doing nothing, because I've told you my name three times, okay? It's all recording. All right. I know, I'm recording as well. Of, you can get a copy of the search record, all right? Yeah. All right. Well, I want it right now. Well, Because last, time, right last now. time you done this... Yeah. Like, you didn't give me no identification. Yeah. 
Oh, I got stopped and searched for standing outside well, my house, well, we're in uniform, having a fag. Myself. Again, yeah. this it's is the second time. time. They searched me and they were fed up because uh, the, you can get me on these things because I ain't got nothing. So they stormed off and they oh, didn't right. identify themselves. I've got it all on video right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, we're not storming off. I've been perfectly polite with you. <laughs> Well, I was being polite with you. Why, yeah, right. why are you doing this to me? Okay, then. So they're saying they was being polite. I don't think polite is stopping somebody, searching them for suspicious walking. There's my title right there. Stopped and searched for suspicious walking. There you go. So I, I think he is, what is their, their excuse is absolutely nonsense. Absolute nonsense. And their grounds is absolute nonsense as well. Now, I do believe stop and search is a good, but only when you've got reasonable ground to do so. We seen a video the I seen a video the other day where police stopped and searched a man for having cannabis, smoking a cannabis in a joint, and he when he was searched they found some bags of weed and a big machete tucked into his jacket. So when they've actually got the grounds, it is good. But when they don't have the grounds and they're doing stuff like that, that's how they lose legislation, which gives them the ability to stop crime from actually happening, from abusing legislation. And this, in my eyes, is abuse of that legislation because I honestly don't believe they've got the grounds to do it. I've done nothing. I've not given you any reason to do this. I've explained that, all right? Nah, I still don't agree. Okay. Well, I appreciate you don't agree. <laughs> well, I don't, because um, you can't just do this to people. Like, you're meant to protect us, not bloody... Well, how do we protect people? The that's... only games I ever see around here, I'm yeah. afraid, is you guys Some... that attack me for just standing but outside my house. There are games around here. There's stabbings around here. How many stabbings uh, have been in Chelmsford? How much drugs yeah. have you been in Chelmsford? Well, yeah. yeah, and if we're not out... I've lived here for, well, in this yeah, place so for over mom, 27 yeah. and years. And your mum lives here, doesn't she? Well, yeah. Yeah, so surely you want it to be safe for her as well. Well, and if we're not out, stop checking people and stop searching people. How are we supposed to? Yeah, but you shouldn't do it illegally. You are legally detaining me. We're not. You are illegally detaining me. It's not Because I've not committed a crime. So therefore, you look. You're grabbing hold of I'm, my I'm arm. Very loose. I'm, I'm just holding you. <laughs> you are grabbing while hold. While we do the search, because I don't so want to run is, off. So therefore, really you are illegally detaining. I'm not running. <laughs> yeah, I know you're not running. <laughs> look at look at my belly. Do you really think I'm going to be running? Yeah, well you probably outrun me, but dressed in all this. Yeah, yeah, can you think that? Yeah. Yeah, because I haven't got nothing on me. Oh. You just come and arrest me for no reason. You've wasted oh, my nice. life. My dinner's getting cold. Uh, have you done this side? Some of these packets? Yes, yeah. Yeah? yeah. There's there. Oh, um, happy? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is PC Osborne. I'm Sergeant Reynolds at the Operation Support Group, based at Boring. Um, well, yeah. The but what was all this a for? Co a copy of the record. I'm standing made. outside my house. I want, I want a copy of something now. We don't provide because, um, would you like paper records anymore. We can write our colour numbers down. Because last time I ain't gone yeah. there because they're saying I have to go to some policing college somewhere. Yeah, you, you do have to apply for a copy of the record in writing. Then why do I have to go to some place? I should get it right now. No, you we don't stop do. me. You, you, you detain me so you yeah, for no reason. Well, well, you know? well, you're not if I was now. breaking in a car, yeah. I'd understand. Yeah, fully. I'll put my hands up. You yeah. can do what you like. Well, you're not detained but now. You're I'm just standing outside my house. Yeah. But you spent longer sort of speaking to us now than so you've not been Well, yeah, because you just violated my rights of. <laughs> like, uh, why, do, why, do, why should I let you go through my personal possessions? Well, it's a stop search under section 23. Yeah, but why should search. I? I've done nothing wrong. But if. If I've done anything if, wrong, I'll, if I had done one thing wrong, yeah. I would fully understand. Yeah. I'll put my hands up. It's based on what, let you what, do what, what, you like. we, what we observed. And we are observed. Here. Yeah. I'm standing outside my house. And we're trying to make bag. it safer for people who live here, like yourself and like your mum. I'm very safe. Everyone knows me round here. Everyone. I've yeah, lived here 27 years. Yeah, but there's been loads of like, there's been stabbings around here and all sorts. Well, I know there has. Well, there yeah. you go. So, but that's a lot ages ago, and that was down right down in the park. There's one just up there. And that's just drug-related gangs. You know what I mean? Well, I'm not like, with a big gang, am I? But unless we're out and about, stop searching people. How do we? Yeah, but you shouldn't do that for no reason. Well, we, it, this is, is what I look. He's taking all my details. He's looking at everything so I'm looking wearing. Stop search for you properly, sir. So I can put it all on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah we're wearing trainers. Sorry. <laughs> That's what it is. If I was an old lady walking down the street, there Hello. is no way Hello. you would have stopped me. There is no way on heaven or earth you would have stopped me. Would you like me. to give your details to stop and search record? No, I would not. Okay, okay. no problem at all. Um, we, we still create one based on your description uh, and the location. That's, That's one of my neighbours. Oh, is it? She's making sure I'm all right. Yeah, Chris. Yeah. Are you all right? <laughs> I know I'm all right. Why wouldn't you be all right? Well, I've just been attacked. I've just had a fag. Yeah. Oh, 
And you're we, attacking we've atta me. We've attacked you. Well, yeah, you grabbed me and you're holding my arm. You are illegally detaining me. No. I've done no crime. I have I to think, have committed a crime. I think so. We're going around in circles a little bit. Well, um, so uh, we'll wish you a good evening. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. See you later. Thank you very much. Good, good night. You're Talk dismissed. You okay, so I'll let the rest of that play through. Like I said, I... Stopping searches are good when they've got the reasonable grounds to do it. Their excuse there was not, to me, didn't give them the, that was not reasonable grounds because you looked at the police. I know how it feels because I've had the exact same situation. I think I've told this story before. I was, how old was I? 15, maybe six, no, I was 16. I was on the way to my, I was on the way back from my army interview. So I was dressed smart. I had my, Duffel bag with me because in my duffel bag I had my gym equipment because I'd gone from because I was going from the my army interview to the gym to exercise and then going back home and on the way this was when the Mitsubishi Evo 9 had just come out one of my favorite cars Mitsubishi Evos and I'd just seen one all marked up in police livery so I stopped I was stopped waiting for the lights to change so I could cross the road and the, this Evo police car was parked at, at the lights. The lights changed and as I've walked past, I've looked at the car, I've walked down the road, next thing I know, I'm getting swarmed by police, the Evo, the push bikes and the, their excuse was I was dressed smart in a location where people don't dress smart and I looked at their car. That was their grounds to search me. I got absolutely screwed in that situation because they stopped, they searched me, they found nothing, obviously. I was late to my army interview, which, luckily for me, I made them give me a, a written stop search. This is how long ago it was. You're talking, how old am I? 15 years ago? You're talking 15 years ago this happened? I was on the way to the army interview, but luckily I had the stop search for the reason for being late, because I'm not one to be late to anywhere. I like to get there early, 10 minutes early all of the time. And luckily for me, I had that. The interviewer was not too happy that I was late, but he understood because of the stop search. Now, it's nothing to do with me, this thingy, but it's the same excuses we see. You looked at the police, and for me, it was because you dressed smart and you paid interest in, in a police car. Yeah, it was my favourite car, and it's the first time I've ever seen that car because it was a brand new car just out, the Evo 9. Yeah, the Evo 9, I believe it was a car. This we talked 15 years ago. But yeah, it was just one of those things. The, the, it's not changed. They haven't learned, and they're still doing the same thing. This interaction to me was wrong completely wrong they didn't have the reasonable grounds in my opinion because he crossed the road suspiciously what the hell is that even about right i'm going to stop r rambling now but let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction as always like the video it does up in youtube's algorithm and i'll catch you on the next one